G O B. For another GOB course ball video, I'm your host, Sons and Guns, here at True Blue in South Carolina, here for part one, taking whole course ball, holes one through nine. It'll be a beautiful day, a little bit overcast, a little bit of a sprinkle, but winter golf can't beat it this time. Let's just get right to that first tee. Starting right out, hole one, par five, a little bit of a dog leg right to left. There's a lot of waste area, a lot of bunkers here at True Blue, and you'll get to see a lot of that as you watch through, but just let that big dog eat, and I put a big drive out. Driver off the deck, just trying to cover distance up to a green that's protected by a lake in front. Bunkers left and right as well. Club down one, and I pull it a little bit out to the left. Go just a smidge long. Get into some pine straw behind the green. Back across the green, give myself a look at par. And I'll leave it out to the left and uh, jump up here and try to clean up my bogey. Bogey's good start in the amateur style. Oh, two par four, a little bit of a dog leg left to right. Just want to get out beyond those trees on the right. Unfortunately, while I hit it very, very well here, I get out into those trees and uh, to punch out of the pine straw again. Bunkers protecting this green. I hit it over the green. Bump a chip back up and on. Give myself a look at a par, which I then push right. But bogey, good score. Jumping right into hole three, par three. As you can see, uh, half an island green with a lot of uh, water and waste area to the right. Break out my five wood. Float one right to the center of the green. Probably one of the best shots of the day you'll see. Have a long birdie look here, breaking off right to left. And try to put a good run in it and walk it in. And it just runs out of juice. That's okay. Par. Great score. Moving on. Okay, hole four, par five. One of the most difficult holes on the course here at True Blue. Dog leg right to left. All water up the left side, so you just gotta trust yourself. Let that big dog eat here, and I put a really good drive out here to start. Again, one water left. I just chase another drive, just trying to cover distance. Driver off the deck, hit it really well. Mid iron here into an elevated green over a bunker. Nothing easy about this hole and I stick it right on there. Give myself a long look at a birdie and it just runs out of juice here. But a really good par, great hole. Okay, hole five, par four, a little bit of a dog leg left to right here. Just aim to get a good tee shot out in play. Let that big dog eat and meet that first goal. Unfortunately here, I have a little bit of a hiccup. Get a line drive, it does roll out very, very well and I get to play out of one of these waste bunkers for the first time today. Chop a low seven iron and let it roll out. Really good shot, then I attack my par putt, and just leave it short. But bogey, good score. Jumping right into hole six, par four. I know the dog leg left to right. Waste bunker out to the right. And blessing in disguise. I get a little bit up and under this drive. Ends up short of that waste bunker. And a little low line drive, half chunky that rolls out to the green. Sometimes you just got to get lucky on the course. But that same luck comes back to bite me. Leave my birdie putt out to the right. Leave my par putt out to the left. And a three putt bogey. Moving on. Okay, probably the easiest hole on the course if there is such a thing. Hole seven, par three. A little short par three. Straight away. Just got to get it to the hole. End up just one club short. Try to play another little bumpy chip. Lands off the green instead of on the skirt, and it just doesn't roll out as much as I would have liked. But you get a look at par, and uh, you 
get off to the left. But, bogey, the amateur style, great hole. Okay, hole eight par four, dog leg left to right. Waste bunker, rocky area out there where that square bush is. Dead center, I literally led into one here. Probably the best drive of the day. So I misrecorded my second shot here on hole eight. Stuck it on the green. Let's go make a putt. And you can see where my ball is there, right of the pin. Missed recording there. Give myself a look at birdie. And it just stays left. But never going to complain about a little tap in par. And uh, yeah, always a great thing. Great hole. So, hole nine, par five, big finishing hole here. Just want to aim out towards that one loblolly tree out there towards the center. Play off my standard cut, left to right. Don't get the distance that I really feel I need to go for it. There's some marshland up here that you just have to lay up to if you don't get out there far enough. I lay up well. And I just swing away with my five wood. And I hit a really good shot. Up and over some bunkers to the left of the green. There's bunkers right of the green. And bear with a long birdie putt, which I just don't crest the hill, and it pulls back. Attack again here with a par putt. A little bit more aggressive. And I almost get it up and in there. But tap in bogey to finish. Great hole. So, uh, this has been part one of this GOB course vlog by True Blue. Play some good golf, play some bad golf. Took way too many two putts, but still having a great day. If you enjoyed this content, give it a like. If you want to see more golf content, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. Do you want to know?